My name is Megan May, and I'm a board-certified oncology pharmacist. I practice at Baptist Health Lexington in Lexington, Kentucky, and I work in the Outpatient Cancer Center, and I see both solid tumors and hematologic malignancy patients. In my practice, the clinical pharmacist sits with, with the doctors in the medical oncology clinic. The pharmacist is there to help discuss treatment plans for patients. And once the provider does make the final decision on what treatment to use, the clinical pharmacist is there to review the indication for the medication and other considerations like dosing, frequency. As a clinical pharmacist at my institution, one of my roles is to help build our treatment plans within our electronic medical record. We build these treatment plans for both IV agents and oral agents. For the oral agents, we build in the initial prescription, and of course the provider and the clinical pharmacist can work together to modify that prescription if a dose reduction is needed. We also proactively build in lab monitoring within our treatment plans. This helps the team know when we should be getting labs on patients and also specifically which labs we should be getting. We also advise patients about the laboratory monitoring during education, just so they know what to expect with their CLL treatment. Within our treatment plan, we also have hold parameters. So if you do need to hold the medication based on specific lab values or vital signs, that is built into the treatment plan as guidance to our providers and other members of the healthcare team. As a clinical pharmacist, we practice with the whole team here in the cancer center. Um, our care team consists of the oncologist, an advanced practice uh, provider, a nurse, and the clinical pharmacist. So we work very closely together. The main role that I have in the team is to provide educations to patients and to confirm the prescriptions for our oral agents as well. I work with the team specifically when a patient has a side effect. So if a patient does call me and they're reporting a side effect, if I can manage it by myself with advising for about over-the-counter products, then I can do that. However, if it does take a prescription or further management, I will call the oncologist in order to discuss further. I do give recommendations to the oncologist, for example, if a dose reduction is needed or if a patient needs to hold a treatment. I can advise and help make those decisions as well as a clinical pharmacist. As a clinical pharmacist, I provide education to patients that are starting treatment for CLL. After the education session that a patient has with the clinical pharmacist, they then go see an advanced practice provider here at the institution. The reason for that meeting is so the APP can go over all the other supportive care staff that we have here within the cancer center. So for example, our social worker, our dietitians, and our psychosocial nurse practitioner that we have here on staff. We make sure patients know that we're all here to work as a team in order to help them through this journey. There are lots of different people within the cancer center that offer great services to our patients. And so we wanna make sure they know all of us are available throughout their entire time that they're going through this journey. Mm -hmm.